You're watching this News 9 special with me, Jonathan. Artificial intelligence has become a very common presence in robotic solutions in the recent years. One of the most popular forms of artificial intelligence are humanoid robots. Humanoids work through certain features and they also have sensors which aid them in sensing their environments. And now this perplexing humanoid has made its way into the classrooms. What's this News 9 special to know more? Robots impart lessons at a school. Robots turn teachers. Artificial intelligence is certainly prevalent these days and it is helping human beings in every sphere of life. We have often heard that artificial intelligence can make the world a better place by equalizing our human biases. Well, this theory has come true. And education is the latest sector which has seen the rise of AI. A renowned school in Bengaluru has now deployed humanoid robots to deliver lessons. Yes, you heard that right. Robots have turned into teachers. But they certainly haven't replaced the teachers. The private International Day Come Boarding School has 25 co-ed students in each of the four sections for classes 7 to 9. The machines have been dubbed as Eagle 2.0 and the school has introduced three humanoid robots for teaching students of grades 7, 8 and 9. This Bengaluru school is the first one in the world to introduce the collaborative learning model or the CLM where teachers will have robot assistance while they continue teaching. Diffusion is not possible in solids because the particles are very tightly packed. Lieutenant General Arjun Ray, the MD and CEO of the school, is the prime mover of the collaborative learning model and he says that the response of students to a robot teaching them is positive and encouraging. Arjun Ray is the brains behind this phenomenal move and he gives us a deeper insight into the objective of introducing a humanoid into the classrooms. What most of these phases look like. Freezing is when liquid water freezes into ice cubes. Here substance changes from a liquid to... Our model is that today a teacher is spending over 90% of her time teaching what Google teaches. She's spending 90% of her time in homework assignments, formative assessment, summative assessments, analytics for academic rigor, and campus duties. So at the end of the day, she has no time for the child. Now the robot takes over these functions, which are repetitive, and can be done in real time. And that gives the teacher now 90% time availability to devote to the child. She now becomes human. The school also has future plans for the project and aims to introduce the collaborative learning model into various other institutions in Karnataka and the world over. Uh, we feel that government schools which are short of teachers or short of qualified teachers over there, robots can fill this vacuum to a huge extent and improve the quality of education especially in our government schools. So, yes, we are doing trials in government schools now, and they're all very positive. And uh, we have no doubt that uh, in the very near future, we'll be able to offer robots to the government of Karnataka, and thereafter to all governments of the country. Arjun Ray also speaks about the mission and vision of the project. The vision is to develop an innovative culture and innovation can only happen when teachers teach competencies. So the robots teach what Google can teach and teachers teach what Google cannot teach. So when you put them together, that is content plus competencies, the outcome is innovation. We have to be innovative, otherwise there is no future for our future generation. 
they'll have no political value, they'll have no economic value, and uh, they will become a liability on society. Innovation, 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 that is the way ahead. But the aim of introducing robots into classrooms is not to ultimately replace the teachers, but rather to assist them. The human-looking robots are capable of two-way interaction. They can answer queries of students and respond to their answers similar to how voice-based assistants work. The robots only complement the teachers in delivering lectures and also reply to frequently asked questions from students. These robots will never replace teachers, but they will share the everyday responsibilities of one. The CLM purpose is to make human teachers more creative in the education sector. Robots will not replace their human counterparts, but will work collaboratively with teachers as a tool or assistant to enhance the learning experience for the students in the classroom. They also impart lessons daily in five subjects to about 300 students. I was to prepare us and about this class and uh, the STO talked about how so having the robot in my classroom to assist me uh, with her focusing on content delivery, it takes that um, pressure off me and instead allows me to focus on each of my learners, allows me to understand their needs, cater to their needs in order to make them equipped for the future, in order to build in them the skill of self-directed learning. So the learners themselves can identify areas that they want to work on and they can then go about working and become self-directed and independent learners and they can succeed in the future no matter what future lies in front of them. The students are overjoyed. The students have also found the humanoids to be exceedingly effective and they express their views on how dynamic the experience has been until now. Recently we've had a robot teaching us and it's uh, and when I heard about this at first, I'm like, what? A robot? I never thought that robots even existed. It's been quite effective. It's helped the teachers a lot and us students. So the teachers, I mean, this, I mean the robots, they will give us the facts and, and the teachers will help us understand the concept a bit more. And, the, and every single lesson, there's a big improvement to the robot. So I think that the robot is a useful, um, a useful assistant to the teacher. Um, at first, I was really confused because we had everything going normally, but then when I had the robot class, I was very intrigued because they taught almost as well as the teacher, and I was able to understand the concept very clearly, and, and I, I um, really enjoyed the class. The humanoid is 5 feet 7 inches tall and is dressed in formal female attire. The three robots have been designed from lightweight 3D printed materials with imported smart servo motors. These robots mimic human-like gestures while teaching students which sends out a personalized touch. It is stainless and clean. Off in our lives and often look everything like that. They can tend to be messy. But here's the good news. We actually have The three humanoids were designed by the school's chief design officer, Vignesh Rao, and an in-house 17-member team. The team comprises of programmers, graphic designers, content developers, and hardware engineers. Uh, this project has been done completely in-house. This is an indigenous robot developed by us. Uh, this project has been on for the last two years. Uh, we've been conducting prototype trials for the last eight, to one, eight months to one year uh, with almost three to 400 students. We have taken feedback from them regularly, from all stakeholders, which is the students, parents, and the teachers, mm -hmm. and we've improvised continuously based on that. Uh, the robot which you see is a five foot seven inch 3D printed robot, completely 3D printed in-house from our in in with our in-house team. The humanoid robots are also child friendly and do not pose any sort of threat to the children. Rao also tells us about the features of the humanoids and about its functionality in a time when modern robots have the ability to learn in a limited capacity. These robots have been made keeping the highest safety standards because the components we source are all 
keep keeping in mind the highest safety standards. And our premise has been that the robot should be child friendly. It shouldn't harm the child or the child shouldn't harm the robot, vice versa. Mm -hmm. In the near future, yes, uh, robots do have limited learning capabilities, but in the next uh, two or three decades, we see them um, you know, becoming AI capable, mm -hmm. where they interact and react to people with emotions, feelings. Mm -hmm. But that is still far away. Uh, till then, I feel the best way to go ahead is uh, human, human intelligence and machine intelligence together uh, to be innovative. As part of the next step, the school is also aiming to continue on improving the robots with more human-like emotions and features. The school also has future plans and is going to introduce many more pilot projects. We plan to induct more robots in our schools and other schools mm -hmm. and uh, we look to improvise on this model. The next model will have additional features such as direction-based sensor, mm -hmm. identifying the students by his, na his or her name and also locomotion capabilities which will allow it to move around the classroom. The introduction of humanoid robots has been very effective for the students as well as the staff and the teachers have now got the time to focus on each child individually. This has been a successful move as it has increased personalized learning and the additional chores are taken care of by Eagle 2.0. The design team will also conduct a pilot study to see how the machines perform without the presence and guidance of teachers. The teachers at the school are also trained on how to interconnect with the humanoids and work closely with each other. They must realize that they have become more relevant now. They have become more useful to the students than before. So they are not going to lose their jobs at all. In fact, they will be required more than ever before. So the teacher's role will be now to focus on special education needs. She should also be a counselor. Mm -hmm. She should also help them innovate, mm -hmm. come out with creative solutions to real-time problems. The principal also speaks about the effectual impacts of introducing the humanoids. In fact, it has been received extremely well by the uh, students and the parents. Mm -hmm. The teachers have also received it well, but they had some questions about, about re-rolling. Uh, so we have amply, we have clarified that and, uh, and now we have to support it. We have already started with training. What is required is capacity building of teachers mm -hmm. to, to face this near future. The school is also in the process of applying for an international patent to protect the intellectual property of its Eagle 2.0 version humanoid robot. With artificial intelligence and robotics advancing at a frightening pace, more restaurants, banks and other industries will also soon be employing robots. They are hard working, deliver the order correctly and don't slack off. The humanoid robots have also certainly proved to being a colossal boon to education and due to their assistance, the quality of education is undeniably going to rise up. A new stand report.